What's up? So today I'm here to show off my first big project at Agora. Not only is it my first project at Agora, but it's also the first Flutter package I've ever created. So if you go to check pub.dev, type in Agora. This Agora UI kit that you see right there, that's, that's my work. I did some of that. And you can see it was published four days ago. Now this package wasn't all done by myself. Actually, most of the work was done by my colleague Mahir. And then we had a lot of help from Max to set up GitHub and do the whole process of getting a package published. So links for their Twitters is in the description. Take a look at them, follow them. They're pretty dope guys. Now let me show you what we have created. So if you're in the description, Agora UI Kit is a Flutter plugin to simply integrate Agora video calling or live video streaming to your apps with a few lines of code. So our goal with this UI Kit was to make the simplicity of Agora even simpler. You can now have a whole Flutter video call app with literally three lines of code. And maybe you could even argue that it's two lines of code, but this, you just need to set up a client with Agora, so this connects you to the network. And then you need a video viewer to actually be able to see the video. These Agora video buttons are optional, but you'd probably want them there as well. So technically, with two lines of code with this client and this video viewer, but all right, maybe three lines of code since there's parameters and stuff, but you have a full functioning video call feature that you can literally just add into your existing application and it's really easy. In fact, it's so easy, during this video, we're gonna implement a complete video call application starting from the initial Flutter project. And I bet it's only gonna take like 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Before we get to that, let's take a look at the GitHub. This is where a lot of the information that you're gonna need. We have a wiki set up with this home screen that kind of gives you all the features we have, some examples, how to install it, things like that. Definitely take a look at this. It'll be very informative for you. So let's get to creating the app. You're gonna to need to add Agora UI kit as a dependency. So I added a file here called appid.dart. And we just put in your app ID for your Agora application. If you're not sure what that means, there's this thing called the Agora console. So go to console.agora.io, log in, create a project. We're gonna be using this testing project. And inside when you click edit, you'll be able to see the app ID. I put it in a separate file so that you guys can't see it and can't use my app ID. So let's remove all the comments from the main. And there, we have our project set up and ready to go. Actually, let's remove all this. this even the starter application is more complicated than the app that we're gonna build. So here we're gonna create a stack of Agora Video Viewer. We're gonna need to pass in the client. So let's create the Agora client. And there's two parameters that you need. Agora connection data, which give the app ID, which we already declared, and then a channel name. For this one, let's just use channel name test and another parameter for permissions. And for the permissions, we're only gonna need microphone and camera. So that's it. Hopefully one of you timed me, but we have a full working application, I think less than a minute. So I actually have to make one little update as be stateful because we're updating permissions and stuff like that. But now here we go. This is the Android view. So we have a view from the emulator kind of, and I could go ahead and join over here. Now we got the camera working there as well. So that's it, that's literally how easy it is. We could add more things, like I said, the Agora video buttons. And these will just add some buttons, some default ones in here, like turning off the camera, switch camera, turn off the microphone, things like that. And now, although these basics are very powerful, I think, by itself, we added a lot more customizability to the UI kit. So if you look at the Agora client, we have these Agora event handlers. So basically whenever an event happens, you can trigger your own code as well. Then you can update the Agora channel data. And here you could set client roles, video encoder configurations, set camera autofocus enabled, beauty effects, things like that. Then within the viewer itself, you could have things like a floating layout. I can actually show you what that looks like. So if we make a floating layout, it looks normal here, but then when someone joins, they're at the top instead of down there. And I saw that it got updated because we have active speaker on by default. So we have all those types of settings. And then we also have the Agora video buttons. Like I said, these are the buttons down here, but you can adjust where their alignment is. You could add an extra button. So you could remove some of the buttons. You could do a lot of customization with the buttons as well. So that's the package. The goal is to make it even simpler, but still allow for a good amount of customization so that you can drop it into your application, make it look just how you want. And I've just added a very complicated feature with very minimal work. So if you guys could do me a favor and go smash the like button on this package. And if you do end up using it, make sure to note any issues that you see. We have issue templates for a bug report or a feature request. Fill those out if you have any ideas or any bugs or anything like that. And it'll also be super cool if some of you wanted to contribute to this. This is the community release and a community project and maybe we could work together on this to make it even better. So if you have any questions about this package, there's a Slack link 
in the description. Me and Mihir will be able to answer your questions there. Or if you think it's a little suspicious, then maybe it's better as an issue and we'll be able to answer there. But there we go, that's it. That's my first Flutter package that I ever released. Again, a big part of this was due to me here and Max, but thank you for watching this. Hopefully you see the power in this as well. And leave a comment about your thoughts about the Aguero UI kit and if you think it'd be useful for your own applications. But thanks for watching and have a great day.